Here's a nice example of a 1940s countertop shock machine made by the Advance uh, Machine Company. Um, nicely restored, very tastefully done, retains uh, the original knobs and the uh, coin mech and the uh, dials in nice original condition as well. The case actually um, has been repainted but uh, the bottom patent information and all of the other production and date information was retained. Uh, leaving a nice bit of history with the uh, with the metal case. Um, machine is a one cent operation and it has a reproduction top sign uh, calling you to uh, challenge your friends and basically uh, try and see how much of a shock you can take. Uh, the machine does work uh, very well and gives a very healthy shock. Um, it's 100% uh, mechanical, operated with a battery. There are, uh, there's a timer inside and there's also an electrode that gets uh, turned on by the timer. So after I insert the penny in the uh, slot here and uh, turn the knob, you will hear the timer start to tick and you'll also hear the electrode buzz. And we'll, there we go. And basically uh, you're supposed to grab both handles and then as you, you turn the, the knob here, you can see that the pointer on the dial would go up. Uh, there's really no specific meaning to the 100, 200, 300, it's just a uh, relative uh, numeric value. It does increase the size of the field coil inside, the, inside of the machine, so it does actually increase the shock. Um, as I said, the starting shock on this is a pretty healthy uh, little jolt, so uh, I'm not going <laughs> to go ahead and, uh, and grab both handles because I've done that plenty of times. You can hear that the timer now uh, stopped ticking and the electrode shut off as well and the machine is ready for its uh, next next victim or next player as the case may be. So this is again the advanced shock machine from the 1940s.